They've taken to the skies for decades. Budget airlines, the no-frills way to fly. But the business model that's made travel cheaper is in trouble. Is it the final call for low-cost carriers? Air travel in its infancy used to be a glamorous affair. Legroom, gourmet meals and champagne were the norm, but it was expensive. Today, budget airlines offer travellers a much cheaper alternative, based on an A to B approach and minimal extras. One of the industry's biggest markets is Europe, where short-haul flights connect a host of destinations across the continent. Since deregulation in the 1990s, airlines such as Ryanair, EasyJet, Norwegian and Wizz Air have become well-known brands, and their services are used by millions of passengers each year. But recently the industry has hit some turbulence. Last year Monarch Airlines, based out of Britain, went bust, stranding thousands of passengers abroad. It's been uh, difficult trying to, because we were told that we couldn't fly into Gatwick, same as this gentleman, and now we're going to have to fly to a different airport in England. This year Primera Air and Cobalt Air suffered the same fate. The low-cost African airline Fastjet has also warned it could fold within days. Some airlines have blamed rising fuel costs and uncertainty over Brexit as contributors to challenges facing the industry. Travel out of Britain has plummeted since a drop in the pound, following Britain's vote to leave the European Union. And certainly uh, any low-cost carriers working out, of the, working out of the UK, you only have to turn up to an airport and look at a bureau de change and see that you're getting less than a pound for every euro. Aircraft and fuel are also bought in American dollars, rather than British sterling. Budget airlines have transformed the aviation industry. It pushed air travel away from the elite few and opened it to the masses. But can it survive the challenges ahead? Or has the era of cheap airline travel had its day?